Trade Single Window and Duties Bill. Uh, point of order, Tim McIndoe. Mr Chairman, I seek leave for all parts of the Border Processing Trade Single Window and Duties Bill to be taken as one debatable question. One debate and the question separately. Leave is sought for that purpose. Is there anyone opposed to that course of action? It appears not. Leave is granted. So the question is that part one, part two, schedule one, schedule two, clauses one and two stand part. Mr Chairman. Honourable Morris Williamson. Mr Chairman, I'll take only a very brief call at the beginning of this because I'm forever hopeful that this will be one of those bills through the House for which most people won't be discussing it at their breakfast table tomorrow morning. Well, uh, my colleagues think it is probably... Methinks my colleagues give this too high a level rating. I think they'll be probably discussing the flag more than they'll be likely to be discussing this tomorrow, sir. But this is, this is sir, trying to bring the, the customs and the biosecurity systems into the modern era. Uh, as most members know, there is a major big development of uh, computer systems going on called the Joint Border Management System. The trade single window part of that is almost complete. There are a, a few more modules to finalise and are in the testing. But, sir, what trade single window will do is allow for both exporters and importers to be able to work with one screen, file their documents electronically. Those documents will then populate all of the databases in the uh, network that are required, if it's food safety database or if it's, uh, if it's a biosecurity database or if it's whatever and uh, currently the, uh, the Customs and Excise Act of 1996 which again won't be a surprise to members because I think the internet actually was declared as only 22 or 23 years old yesterday so the 1996 Customs Act which is what at 25 yesterday was oh, okay okay well that's all right. We didn't, get it in, we didn't get it in Parliament until about 1993 or 94. So when the 1996 Customs Act was going, we still had green pixelated screens and dot matrix printers, sir. So what this is to do is to bring it into, into the modern era. I, I, I won't go through it all, sir, unless members are quite concerned about specifics, but th uh, technicalities about giving the Chief Executive of Customs the right to cancel registration of users because a new registration system will be required so that users can identify them themselves from remote locations and do their transactions. There's quite a lot to this bill, sir, in terms of technical and uh, basically computerised based systems, but in the end I think it can be just summarised as just uh, bringing the trade single wi window bit of the Joint Border Management System, JBMS, into this legislation so that uh, it can be done, and I understand that when we get to the end of the third reading we'll split it so that people will be able to follow the two bills, but I'll wait to see what members have got to ask. Uh, Honourable Phil Goff. Uh, Chairman, uh, 